afternoon, everybody. On Positively Tampa Bay today, we are showcasing how our community and the North American professional soccer team based here in Tampa Bay are helping children in Haiti. Take a look. In just 24 hours, local volunteers will descend on a soccer field in St. Pete to pack a quarter of a million meals to be shipped to Haiti, the food going directly to children in some of the most devastated areas of the country. Here's how missionaries there describe the situation. We feed uh, about 700 kids every week. Uh, it's been about a year and a half now that we've been receiving food from feeding children everywhere, helping with the nutritional needs of the kids. It's expanded our scope of our, our ministry and our program here. But where when we started a couple of years ago, we had 250 kids we were educating and feeding on a weekly basis. And joining us in the studio with more, we have Pascal Millier, did I say that correctly? Yes, who is a star player on the FC Tampa Bay team, and Carissa Caracado, who is with the nonprofit uh, Feeding Children Everywhere, and I love her title, the Director of Happiness, too. <laughs> Congratulations to you both on this wonderful project. Um, Pascal, for the viewer at home who may uh, not be familiar with your story, you were born in, in, in Haiti, but you've been in Lakeland, raised in Lakeland since you were a teenager. What, what has it been like for you to be able to go back to Haiti and help the children? in your homeland I mean uh, it's a dream come true you know to just go back home to have a chance to help I mean it mean a lot to me and uh, just thinking about myself when I was young and so I don't have that many that much help so now I just have people from all over the world so helping our country and it's mean a lot to the kids and it's mean a lot to me especially. You've, you've been there when the food is being distributed to the children um, what do the kids say I mean I love it, you know, it's, I mean, for the people to bring them some stuff and they, they don't have, you know, it just means a lot to them. So, I mean, we just want to thank God because, you know, people are thinking about those mm -hmm. kids and they, like we said, the kids are the future, you know, so we just got to look after them. They're the ones going to be here present us today. Carissa, how can our viewers connect with Feeding Children Everywhere? The event tomorrow is a lot of fun. Tell us about that. Yeah, so if you want to get involved, come and see us tomorrow in action, 3 to 6 p.m. at Alang Stadium in St. Pete. Um, if you can't come tomorrow, there's so many more ways you can get involved. Uh, you can host your own event. We do this with schools, everything from uh -huh. elementary, middle, high school, colleges, uh, churches, youth groups, businesses, um, anything like that. So please just contact us at feedingchildreneverywhere.com, and we'll work on a project together. And for folks who want to volunteer, is there anything that they should bring or they need to do ahead of time if they want to participate in the event tomorrow at Al Lang Stadium. They can come. We've got a lot of children that are um, raising money through quarters. 25 cents feeds a child. Mm -hmm. So if you bring $40 worth of quarters or, or change to the event, you actually get a free ticket to tomorrow night's FC Tampa Bay game, the soccer Great. game. So it's Faith and Family Night. It'll be a lot of fun. So, But bring yourself. So. Thank you very much for coming, and Pascal, thank you so much for oh, what you're doing you. to help our community. Good luck tomorrow in the All game. All right, thank you. <laughs> if you at home would like more information on the event tomorrow, it's at Al Lang Stadium in St. Pete. It starts at 3 o'clock, goes to about 6 o'clock. For more information or more information on Feeding Children Everywhere itself, there's a website on your screen. It's feedingchildreneverywhere.com.